Would you please welcome Judith Lucy? <laughs> Judith, welcome, welcome. Thanks, Charlie. So, so, Judith, what big story from the year has caught your eye? Charlie, I've actually had a pretty life-changing experience. Oh, really? Wow. Mm. Well, tell us about it. Well, Charlie, I think I speak for a lot of us when I say that I am just so overwhelmed by so many issues currently. Climate change, mm. homelessness, all mm. of these issues just leave me feeling powerless, you know, thinking, oh, my God, what can I do? So recently, Charlie, I was walking down the street. Mm. I saw a woman on her phone. She was approached by a charity worker. I think he was with Doctors Without Borders. He asked her for a donation, and she simply turned to him and said, oh, no, thanks, I'm just an asshole person. <laughs> and that's when I realised. I thought, oh, my God, that's what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the answer is to stop caring? Exactly. That's my New Year's resolution. I need to get a lot more self-focused. I mean, what can I really do about stuff like homelessness? Nothing! I... But I can <laughs> embrace a current trend on Instagram, naked bikinis. Yeah, naked bikinis. That sounds like a, an oxymoron. Mm, let me explain. Naked bikinis <laughs> is when women wear bikinis mm -hmm. that are the same shade as their skin, so they look, you guessed it, Naked. <laughs> See, this is amazing. Look at her. She looks like a saucy apricot. Now, she appears... <laughs> she appears to have surgical masks covering her nipples and an eye patch covering her genitals. <laughs> um, maybe her vulva's a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so that is, that's obviously some pretty big news there, Judith. Mm. Um, anything else we need to know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm done with facts. I mean, what? science, what's in it for me? When was the last time gravity bought me a drink? So <laughs> that, combined with the self-focus, leads me to a topic, Charlie, that just won't go away. Climate change. Climate change. Yeah. I asked Amanda McKenzie, CEO of the Climate Council, a question I think many, many Australians are asking themselves. How is climate change going to affect me? The Climate Council, what is it? So the Climate Council is an organisation put together to provide information that is accurate and accountable to the Australian public. I'm sorry, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> now, <laughs> climate change. Mm -hmm. We're supposedly seeing the effects of that now, but mm. when's it really going to go to shit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? When's it going to be like the movie The Road? Although, right. to be honest with you, if that meant I got to hang out with Viggo Mortensen, bring it on, you know what I'm saying? Actually, look, I think what I'm basically asking you is how long have we got? Well... No, I don't really mean that. What I really mean is how long have I got? Because mm -hmm. I'm 51 and between you and me, it'll be a miracle if I make it to 60. So what I'm asking you mm. is how are the next nine years looking? Mm. Well, at the moment, New South Wales started its bushfire season in winter. They had catastrophic conditions by spring. We've already lost 600 properties. I'm hearing a lot of facts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really do those anymore. So <laughs> let's try that again. The next nine years are going to be... Escalating Fine. extreme weather that's events. what I'm hearing. Mm. I'm hearing that I'm going to be laughing all the way to the crematorium, although mm. I know cremation is not great for the environment, but what are you going to do? Kill me! And, I mean, when you think about it, ScoMo's 51, Albo's 56, we can all relax. How old are you, Amanda? I'm 36. Ooh. Got kids? I do, a two-year-old. Ouch. May as well put a plastic bag over your head. <laughs> Not that we can use those anymore. Now, let's get to specifics. What about the fires in the Amazon rainforest? Mm. We all know they were set by Leonardo DiCaprio. And my question <laughs> to you is, are the fires in the Amazon rainforest going to stop me watching the second series of Fleabag? Not immediately. The fires are not going to stop me from watching television. Is that what you're well, saying? Unless you've got the windows open. It's a real yes or no in the, answer. The smoke. I don't live near the Amazon rainforest, so that's a well, win for a, me. Well, there's quite a few let's fires move in Australia. On to, let's mm. move on to uh, rising sea levels. Now, what islands are going under? A lot of the Pacific islands are very vulnerable. So whether it's right. um, Kiribati, for instance, is very vulnerable. Yeah, I don't live Torres there. Torres Strait Islands. But I do live in a bayside <laughs> suburb. In fact. Let's have a look at that here. So here I am in Balaclava. Do you see that going under in the next nine years? Well, the issue it's will be... It's a yes or no answer. The issue will be sea level inundation. No, it's so a yes or no answer. So these are storm surges. So, so, so it won't be underwater. So, yeah. but so I issue... just need an umbrella. That's great. And my favourite <laughs> restaurant.
Omicron is just around the corner. Mm. Uh, that's obviously not going to be a going problem. It's going to be the same it's, issue for It's okay, great. So climate change is not going to stop me getting a damn yummy peanut noir and some lamb ragu. Mm. Actually, just on that, should I stop eating meat? You can keep... Actually, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I'm not going to stop eating meat. So that's not a question anymore, so that's great. And I'm wondering too, is climate change going to affect the amount of sex I have, say, in the next nine years? That's important. Well, again, it's a yes or no maybe answer. Maybe if there's more disasters, you'll have more. I don't know. OK, well, that's an interesting approach. <laughs> maybe I will. People will be so shocked they'll want to sleep with me. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> now, look, um, you seem like a person who's really concerned about stuff. Uh, so mm. I, I'm going to ask you this. What can I do about climate change? Mm. Well, I think in your position, you have a great opportunity to become an advocate for action on climate change. So maybe we could get together and have a... <laughs> have a think about it.